Hi guys, I'm just doing this video to, um, to, sh to, sh to show people how to get around the problem that Bittrex has uh, done. I mean, I'm, I'm screwed big time now that Bittrex canceled all my orders. They didn't give me any warning. This is, this is effectively a lie. And if, I can, if we can open up a class action suit, I will gladly because I have enough money to freaking put these guys in the ground. Right? Because, like, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Effective today, Bittrex will remove orders that are older than 28 days. As we've communicated in the past, which they have not, I've asked other people who have, who have actually uh, uh, have Bittrex accounts that did not get any kind of notice that this was happening. Uh, many of these orders have no reasonable expectation of being filled and clog the order books. This is bull BS. BS. You know what? This is actually, this does two things. One, it just, it, it prevents um, the small investor from um, using the system um, uh, because they have to use, they have to learn more things in order to get around all their this BS this 28 day BS but you know what I, I think it turned I, I think um, this work gonna work out for the better I hope that Bittrex closes I'm gonna be slowly moving my uh money away from bittrex now because this is this is this is basically uh manipulation and bad business practice to do this and then of course we have to watch out for this 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 is another stupid thing that they're going to be doing where uh the tick sizes are have to be like within a certain percentage and it's based on a market to market basis so you don't even freaking know what it is Right, so you don't even know what to put in if you're buying at the margin, and um, and, and that's 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 just another problem that you're going to have um, with with Bittrex. So I mean, this this they're the number they were a number two exchange because of because they didn't do shenanigans like like uh, Poloniex. Poloniex was number one when I started trading. And that, and I knew that they were going to fall from grace because of all the, the um, shenanigans that they were doing as well. Um, and so, what happened? They fell from grace, right? Now Bittrex wants to follow the suit with uh, Poloniex. Fine by me. You know what? This is a free market. Uh, the market gets to decide who's right and who's wrong. And you know what, Bittrex? If you're watching anybody working at Bittrex. This is not living right. This is not living right. Anyways, let me show you how to get around this, right? This problem. Now, I'm not going to click on Bittrex because I have like a, an account there, and this is my account, and I don't want to show off how much I've got in that account um, that I've got to move. Now, I'm just going to use the, the the Cryptopia. I have a Cryptopia account with just a little bit of money in there, and uh, I'm going to show you how to set a Basically, a uh, stop using using crypto uh, coinage. You're gonna use coinage in order to um, basically help you avoid all this this BS because everything that you do here, like if you click on, if you start do a uh, what's it called a different kind of trade, a uh, stop loss trade. The stop loss trade only exists inside the coinage database, and so once it's fired does it actually get transferred to the exchange and so what that is and what it was designed for is not we're not we're not using it what it was designed for what it was designed for is basically let's just say you were an actual day trader and you're taking a long position right and let's just say you decided to um, buy here right and if the price went to low right here that's when you would sell everything and get out because you've, you've lost and if you wanted to this would be your like for example your profit section here so you would sit like for example if you were doing a stop loss on the stop sales on on um, dash here what you would do is let's just say you had some dash and uh, you wanted to buy you bought the dash here and you wanted to take a stop loss down here so for example um, you you bought like 10 dash for example and you want to sell all the dash here if 
price got here. Or maybe you wanted to sell it even lower. Oops, let me just uh, change this a little bit. You want to sell a little bit lower so that you could definitely get filled, right? So you'd sell, if price got down here, you'd sell way down here. So this makes sure that you actually got your, uh, your order filled, right? Because it will actually sell into the market price, pushing your price down if there's no um, uh, sell order, if there's nobody wanting to buy at this price, right? So, so you'd be pushing the price down. Now that's one, that's, that's how it was designed to be used, right? Called stop loss order, right? So we're gonna sell, we're gonna use this method, right? to actually buy, to buy and sell our cryptocurrencies on on um, Bittrex, right? And this way, we, because once we hit the, the, I can hit it right now, even though I don't have any coins because uh, Coinergy doesn't know and doesn't care. And maybe even you can just, it, it will actually, you can wait until your coins actually show up, right? It, if you um, don't have any coins, it's still on their database books, right? As, hey, you know what, you've got a stop loss order. And they will only send that to, to for example, uh, in this example, Cryptopia, uh, when the price hits the, the limit order. Now, I'm not sure why it's not showing up here, but um, you can see it here. That, you know, if the price gets to, um, to 0. 034 right i'm going around there right it's going to trigger a stop loss which i'm going to sell everything in the 10 10 dash at 0 0.03 this also means that because this is because this does not um get sent to the to cryptopia until that happens i can buy the dash later on i can maybe buy the dash down here right and then long as I could buy the 10 dash over here and then basically if the price gets down here to be selling it down here just to get out if I'm wrong but since we're not being using it like that it actually what happens is we're gonna be using it in the opposite fashion now let's just say I did have some dash right and I want to so basically I had like 20 dash and I want to sell half on a double so I have 20 dash and I want to sell 10 of those dashes up here right way up here I want to sell some dash way up here right so I could tell it to sell the dash up here right and only when the price gets maybe close to it would be good or after it would be fine so it's up to you right it's how you feel it, uh, I should suggest you'd go before only because um, this way your order will go in as a, a limit order to um, Cryptopia or for example Bittrex is where you're going to be using this and that um, that limit order will be set at that price at this price right here once it happens once the price gets to this point it's called the stop price right so this once the price gets here boom it'll set your your uh, your limit order so if price hasn't gotten gone through here yet it will eventually once it goes through here it will you will it will get your seller so so for example if price were to go and hit the stop stop order immediately your sell order gets placed and so this might take some time goes bouncing up and down and boom you get you get your your fill right so this would probably be the best thing to do only because remember this part here you don't know what the tick size is for each of these currencies each of the currencies so if you were to place your order uh, at sorry let me just clear this uh, if you were to move if you were to um, place your stop loss with your price right that's fine however if if the tick size is incorrect it will ignore your it will it, it will reject your order on bitrex because of that new rule so um you have to you have to be careful cognizance of that so another option is of course if you uh, were to um increase the stop size 
um, the stop price to uh, Jesus to here to the top here. Let's just say you waited until okay. Well, after the price, that's fine too. You just um, just keep in mind if it does not get to to that price, um, you won't get your order filled. So what could happen is price goes like this, up and down, up and down, and it comes up here, but doesn't quite get to your your um, your your stop price. Uh, and then you basically you have your order here sitting ready to go but it's not gonna be get sent to the exchange until price gets above here so that's a problem it's it, it work most of the time but uh, there will be a few times where price comes into your your sell order and then just does not get to this, uh, this higher price to trigger the sell order and um, and the way she goes right so keep that in mind so how you do it is up to you um it's all depends on how you feel though how you feel it's uh, to trade i personally feel that you should do it up uh, at or before and uh the at port part is a little bit iffy but before you can at least um get um you'll at least you'll know you'll have like some sort of sense that you're get, you're gonna get yourself a fill Right, and it's and the order will not get rejected. So you could hit the sell. I could I could hit the sell order right now, and it will get placed in the the, the Coinigy database, and Coinigy will handle the um, the uh, what's it called the the stop loss and the selling and placing the order for me. And there you have it. Right, and as the and the, this works for the sell order as well. So buy orders, I mean, as well. So I can go what the advantage is here. Let's just say I want notice I only have 34.34 coins, right? And I like I like I like um what's it called? I like a dash. And, and you know what? If price gets down here, which I don't think it will, but let's just say it gets down to um to right about here, right? And and I I want to buy right about here. I don't think it will, but if it does, right, great. I want to set the buy order. Maybe I'm gonna put this a little bit closer. And I hit okay. I hit yes. So I want to set that that buy order, right? But notice my price, the amount of dash did not go down, right? Like I said before, it does not use your currency because this is just stuck in the database of current of uh, uh, of Coinigy. And they will execute this order once um, the price once price gets to your stop price. So your stop your stop buy price is um, here on this one is 0 0.0469, right? And this is where this is where you're gonna buy, and it's gonna issue the buy order at 0 0.0448, right? So this is great so now i can let's just say i'm not confident it's going to get down here but i don't get i don't i don't use up my money so now i can go to ether because i like ether and i feel that you know what i feel confident it will get down here maybe even before uh dash and i can put 0.25 as well which is more money than both those two orders combined or more money than i have and so what's going to happen is two things what's going to happen if i want to buy down here so what's going to happen is whoever comes first will get the will will get will have the orders filled right and so if you don't have enough money and and dash does come down let's just say ether is the one that gets the uh, come down first to your level right and it it gets filled it, it gets it places the order right now you're minus 0 0.25 because you bought some some ether and then dash comes along and it the price comes down and it tries to place the order it will just say oh wait a second you don't have enough money but if you have enough money by the time that order happens guess what your order gets filled so you don't have to worry about it if you're making money constantly this trade during the trades this is great because now uh, you can place orders uh, 
ahead of the price event and possibly have the money by the time the price event occurs. And same with the sell orders as well. So in the, in the case of, hey, you know what? I know I want to buy down here and sell up here. You can place your sell orders even though you got nothing because you feel confident it's going to come down, I'm going to get filled, and I'm going to get the, the sell order up here. So now you have, you have the option of s selling even though you don't have any and buying even though you don't have the money to, to afford it. So it's only at the time that the price moves down to that will it actually check to see if you have enough money to, for it actually to uh, go ahead and make the, 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 the order. And so you can you can actually basically um, uh, make the money in between time in between the time that you set the, the the buy order and the time that that price comes down to that that buy order or hits the sell order. So this is pretty cool, and I I, uh, I think you know what this is going to work out a lot better for me, um, and I hope it works out a lot better for you too. Thank you, Bitrex, and I hope we can. I hope I can sue you to the ground too, <laughs> because what you did was just wrong, just just wrong. But you know what? Now I'm going to be doing everything in this method. Actually, every single uh, exchange, I'm just going to use uh, Coinergy's system in order to uh, go ahead and make uh, uh, my sell buy and sell orders. So thanks a lot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got some value out of it and uh, that uh, that um, you can use this information to um, to trade better. Thanks for watching.